Hey guys, well today I want to talk to you about my water collection system. Um, out of my garden here we have no really access to water. Um, the only water is at my uncle's place and he brings down like a barrel a day or a barrel every few days which is not sufficient enough for our garden here. And when it's really dry I need to haul water over from my lake in the truck in barrels. And that's no fun either because it's a lot of work. So two or three years ago I came up with a system for my uh, water collection here. Uh, this is one of the three systems I have. Uh, this is the first one I built. It was basically all free and I'll show you what I've got here. Uh, this shed my uncle had built probably 20 years ago when he first started his garden here. So I'm like why don't we put up a needs trough and start collecting water and it's worked well so far. What I used here were pallets, three pallets to support it with and then as well at my campground, I've got some fishing docks and every few years I have to replace the top planks, which are these guys here. So I've used one of those guys on top and the barrels I find free all over the place. And this was a water tank from my water system at the campground. And what we've done, what I've done here, got some plumbing fitting, fittings that I've hooked up here. I've drilled a hole in here and this is uh, double sided so you screw it in with a half inch water pipe and I connected it to the bottom and then same with over here, same thing and it works well. The only downfall to this to this spot here is that this I should have uh, put in the back higher up or use another blue barrel because what happens is when this fills up to about the top you're only getting half the water in here so it just flows at the top and I'm wasting water but it works well for what it does and it collects more water than I had before. And I'll show you the back here where we have the eaves trough set up. So it comes out the back here. We just cut a small hole in the back there to level it off with. And comes up off the back here. And this is totally a do-it-yourself cheapy job. We got string holding it together. A few times this summer it's fallen off and when it rained it didn't collect any water so uh, I've had to come a few times to fix it up. So I need to actually figure out a better system for this to make it stay up and collect more water. And then over here at the front as well I've got a hose hooked up to the bottom so that I can drain water over to my different barrels. So what I did here I just put in a tap here. I've drained all the water out now because it's freezing at the, uh, the past few nights. We've had the frost warning and all that stuff, so drain out so I don't crack the barrels. But I've got my hose set up here, and what I do, I've got a barrel over down that way, and then I've got my two barrels over here that I just hook the hose up to and drain the water into it so I don't have to carry buckets of water over, and that works well. Right now they're pretty empty as well. I have three barrels, but I never really had enough water to fill them all up this year. So that was the first system we built. The second system, I got uh, a roof from one of those uh, aluminum sheds, tin sheds, whatever they are, and I used that for my second system here. And it works pretty good actually, I'm pretty impressed with this one too. Um, the only problem I had was the first uh, summer it kept falling over, so I didn't have it weighted very well. So what I did, I just put a whole bunch of bricks on the bottom here, and some rocks, just board it up. And it's been great since, hasn't fallen over. So, just a little cross braces. And the small amount of roof space, it collects pretty good water. And this one's empty too, I just drained it yesterday. And this one's here, I've got this one on a drip line system for my blueberries, which are over here. So I don't have to hand water everything. And that works really well. Still got some lettuces as well almost end of October, so it's pretty cool. So that's the second system, it works great. I think I'd like to extend the roof though, try to build a bit more of a roof so that I have more water when it rains, it fills faster, because it seems like when it's a good heavy rain, it doesn't fill as fast as I'd like it to. Um, and as well, this was all free as well. We reclaim wood, free roof, and free barrels. Actually, I think one or two barrels I had to pay 10 bucks each for, got it off to GG, so whatever, 20 bucks for the whole system, can't complain. And I'll walk you over to my greenhouse now that we built last year. 
I'll leave a link at the end of the video so you guys can see how I built that. And then I'll show you guys how we have that set up over there. So like I was saying at the start of the video, that's the biggest struggle here for me is water. I have to hand water everything, which takes too much of my time. Um, I could be doing better things with my time, like composting my beds, transplanting, um, seeding more trees so I can get more crops in the ground. But such is life out here. This is how it works, and it works okay so far. Um, I'm hoping to maybe get a solar panel, a pump, and try to put some kind of small irrigation system in and see what happens, but that's down, down the road. Okay. So here's the greenhouse I built last year with my uncle. And here are the barrels we have here. And let me tell you, when it rains, sorry if it's a bit windy, it's, uh, hope you guys can hear me pretty good there. So yeah, when it rains, this thing collects water so fast. On a good hard rain, the barrels will fill in like 20 minutes, which is pretty awesome. So what I did with this one here, same thing as the other side, it's popped in some plugs here. And this one, I think I did this is like a half inch water pipe or maybe, yeah, th or three quarter, can't remember. But next year what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably put a T in here or an elbow and then hook up the system there and there so that we don't have to come out with the eaves trough. So what we've been doing is using this eaves trough, setting it right here, so the water drips down and collects over to our other barrels here. So my goal is to next year hopefully find three or four more barrels at least and hook up them all the way down here so that I have like eight barrels of water so I don't, I don't have to haul water up here every few days on a dry spout and my uncle doesn't have to bring any water up. That's the ultimate goal. And as well, on the other side where the glass is, still a work in progress the greenhouse. We need to finish it off hopefully this fall if we get time. But I'd love to get an eaves trough set up on this side as well and put another five or six barrels here. And then we'll have so much water, we won't have to worry about uh, bringing any down. And on this side, we'll probably collect just as much water as that side. So it's kind of cool uh, how much you can collect. And I know some areas uh, in the States, it's illegal to collect water, which is pretty sad. Um, water is free, so you should be able to collect it and do as you please with it. So guys, I hope you liked that video. If you guys uh, have your own water collection systems, please uh, let me know, send me the link or send me some pictures. I would love to see them. Gives me more ideas as well as what I can do here at my garden. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up, and uh, please share around. So everybody have a great day and happy gardening.